are recording. Uh, thank you. And I've been uh, four months in hospital in Auckland, New Zealand. Finally got shoulder there for seven months. I used political influence because I met a chief off my ship, the USS Labonte. And he fixed it up, I got there. Oh, good. See, I wasn't raiding there, I was non raiding there. See, that's how I got it. Tongue of the boo. Mm. It's too small here to look through. My girlfriend's husband was in Australia. He did 20 years and six months. He sent for his wife. She got here uh, September 11, 1941, on a ship, cruise ship, Matsuma, pulled in Aloha, the tower there, you know, over here. And he put the blade around her. And then they were up in their apartment, and all of a sudden, boom, 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 the bombs and all going off. And he got back to the Pearl Harbor, he got his boat, he was a boat crew. They got out there and got them guys out of that flaming oil, took them back and forth to the, he got them in the, saved them, put them on the dock, back and forth. And one time he put them on the dock, a damn Jap plane come down, the machine gun. Them. He got away in time. And there's a lot of things were done that day. Guys should have got medals, but people got to cut, observe that and they got to put in for it, see? Mm -hmm. That day, I had the duty that day. I had the duty that day, now. And uh, if they came a little sooner, they would have caught me in my pants down. I was in the head, there's the restroom. <laughs> Literally, huh? Door number two, but I fooled them, got finishing time, washed up, going along the third deck, the general alarm gong went, gong, gong, run up to my battle station. I was up on a, a boat deck, way up there with eight inch, no, I mean, Mount 8 with a five inch, 25 cal caliber anti-aircraft gun. Second loader, I put them in the fuse pot, see? There's three of them there, and the fuse set the fuse, and the first loader trips it and puts it in the tray and shrink, boom, see? Now, you shoot at an airplane if you miss the airplane, and if your fuse wasn't set, it goes out there, and if it don't go off, it went down in Honolulu, Waikiki Beach, exploded, it killed civilians and wounded them. That what you call friendly fire, see? Yeah. Any ships shoot in that direction, all them ships down Battleship Row, and that's what happened that day, see? Now, in the evening, we shot six of our own planes down. They call them uh, F-4Fs, fighters from the USS Enterprise, see? Now, they, they were, want to get permission to land at Fort Allen Naval Station, Air Station, so that for fuel to get back to their ship, they didn't have enough fuel. So they got permission, and they put out the word, the high command put out the word to all station ships, friendly planes will be coming in with the lights on. So here they come, see? But they got over to USS Pennsylvania. Now, I don't know about this, but I read it in the history books, see? That's where I get my info about that. A fellow, somebody on the USS Pennsylvania starts shooting away, and everybody's shooting away. Shot down those six plane, F-4 F fighters, three pilots killed, and three survived. And one poor guy, Apollo was coming down in a parachute. Some damn fool was shooting him at him with machine guns. So that's misfortunes of war. And God bless the United States of America. What I call it stands for United Suckers Association. And that's what my grandfather told me years ago. The politicians just suck you in and they say the hell with you. I'm in now, I'm going to make money. Now there. Sorry I had to say that, but there is known as freedom in this country. Freedom is not free. I've seen blood on my deck of my ship. I'm sorry to say that. God bless America. Well, you know, I thank you very much. That's just...
perfectly exactly what we wanted to hear was a little bit about your war story. I'm and sorry I had to put political stuff Well, no, in. and we actually did, uh, I'll say it right here on the camera, that's exactly what we wanted to hear was a little wisdom. I'm a Tea Party Nazi, according to Nancy Belosa. I went to one tea party. We had 2,000 men in Manhattan. And I went to a cap and trade rally with three, 300 of us there. So you're Robert Wetland? You were on the USS Nevada? Yeah, okay. the yeah, yeah, the only battleship, the only battleship to get underway. Yeah. We took that a torpedo so before we got underway. And after we got underway, we got hit with several bombs. Blew the whole forecastle, the power of a well, from what I heard on the video, uh, once the smoke was over the harbor, you guys were drawing all the planes. Yes, they wanted to sink yeah. us, and we were sinking in the channel. We had to get the hell out of the channel. Block the other ships. We had orders, get out of the channel. But we didn't have the power. It yes. took us a half an hour to get steam up just to move slowly. And we took on a lot of water from the torpedo about frame 43 or 45 port side. And you take water on, we had to ballast the ship. And then we move them very slowly. And they we were in that channel, and there they come. And I, I watch them. I'm up on top side, up there on the second load on the 5 to 25 cal anti-aircraft gun, Mount 8. I seen a bomb strike in the water, missed us. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, well, just on a ha listen to me out a happy story. I just saw one of our submarines when I took the boat tour out. One of our submarines going up that beautiful channel. So it's still clear, and uh, it didn't get clogged that Yeah, day. the channel here. It did not get clogged on December 7th, and it's still We didn't clog beautiful. it up. No. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank Great. you very much, yeah. <laughs> okay. Chapter